Home Minister Hamza Zainuddin said the country's Tier 3 standing in the latest Trafficking in Persons report was due to different laws and practices in the US and Malaysia. Hamza said the tier-based assessment used by the US State Department in its annual TIP report was based on its own law on human trafficking, the Trafficking Victims Protection Act of 2000, while presenting Putrajaya's response to the report in the Dewan Rakyat. The report released last month said the Malaysian government did not fully meet the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking and was not making significant efforts to do so, even considering the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the country's anti-trafficking capacity. It also said the government did not implement SOPs to systematically identify trafficking victims, had weak interagency cooperation, and did not prosecute or convict government officials allegedly complicit in trafficking crimes. Hamza said that while the government had taken action against these negative aspects, there was still not adequate enough to influence the US State Department's evaluation. He also refuted several claims in the report, key among them that the country had no safe houses to protect victims of human trafficking in the northern region. He said Penang had a safe house run by an NGO that had been operating since 2017 and that there were 10 such safe houses around the country, eight of which were supervised by the Women, Family and Community Development Ministry and the remaining two were operated by NGOs. Hamza also said the TIP report incorrectly stated that human trafficking victims in the country were handcuffed. He said handcuffs were only used on foreigners who broke immigration laws during enforcement operations in order to save them from any unexpected situations.